another form types of video and in this video we'll talk about the conditional size for repeated section. So I'm going to get a section here and I'm going to show you how this section will resize itself based on the conditions inside it and this is for repeated as well. So let's make this section a bit wider like this and then I will set this to repeated and then let's insert some data in here. So we'll get a text box We'll get a address. I'll move this here. And then I'll get another text area. And I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so everything can adjust itself correctly. All right, let's see if the spacing is correct here. Okay. And make this a bit bigger again, just to sort of demonstrate a point on how it can resize itself. So I'll move this down here, there. Okay, once you've done that, I'll write a condition. I'll say if current field is not empty, then go ahead and hide my address and then hide my text area. Okay, so this is what it will look like. So I'll say if current field is not empty, well, but you can see this huge space here and you really want the section to move right up when uh, the conditions are like that. So once the conditions are gone, it's there, great, but when the conditions have met and the, the data is gone, you really want the section to move up. So here's what you do. You go to click the section, go to advanced and check conditional size. Once you've done that, if you go to this preview again, if I type something, you can see the section has now moved up correctly. Okay, and this is how easy it is to set up the conditional size for repeated section. You can now say it's gone, but if I want, now it's moved up. And again, I can do the same here as well. I can just do this, and it's moved up. Again, same things there. Okay. And this is how easy it is to, to set up the conditional mapping um, and the conditional size if there are conditions within a section and the section will fold up to the size which is expected when there is no element. And when there is elements, it will expand and contract correctly. So just to recap, all you need to do is click on the section, make sure it's repeated, even if it's not repeated, and then under the advanced, check conditional size. And this is how it's done.